Hello everybody! Welcome to another episode of Coming Up Millhouse. Today we watched Season 7, Episode 15, Bart the Fink. Yes, and it is very timely because we are in tax season. If you haven't completed your taxes, you might want to watch this episode because Krusty gets into a little bit of trouble with the IRS. Ladies and gentlemen, Krusty the Clown was arrested today for massive tax fraud. Krusty's years of tax avoidion would never have... Tax avoidion. Avoidion, it's a crime, look it up. Would never have... Ca evasion, evasion. I don't say evasion, I say avoidion. Would never have come to light if not for a crafty little boy named Bart Simpson. But of course, it all comes to fruition when Bart gets a bank account and gets a checking account with a checkbook and he figures out how he can use that to get people's autographs. Uh -huh. He wants to get Krusty's autograph, finds out that it got stamped by his secret account in the Cayman Islands, and uh, that leads the IRS to check out Krusty, and Krusty's show suffers a lot. From yep. <laughs> he, uh, with his checking account, um, he finds out some people's true identities, including Jimbo's, which is pretty great. Um, yep. <laughs> just a little bit of a an inside scoop. If you want to find out Jimbo's real name, watch yeah. this episode. That's right. All right, well, why don't we do our thing, kick it off. Give me your favorite line. Oh, um, I'm going to go with... Now fill out these forms. I'm sure it'll be more exciting than spending the day with Batman. <laughs> that was the banker. <laughs> he had a couple lines like that, but uh, it was just, and Bart just eagerly filled out the lot the forms like it really was going to be more exciting than spending the day with Batman. But, but that guy was so deadpan he about was. it. He's he like, you'll find that it'll be more fun than a day with Batman. You know, he's like... <laughs> So, so monotone, it's ridiculous. Yes. <laughs> and that was after he had a couple other quirky lines of, mm -hmm. this will be more fun than dot, dot, dot. But mm -hmm. I'm a Batman fan, so I had to go with that line. Got it. <laughs> All right, well, my next line is when uh, Krusty gets caught. Mm -hmm. And it was all because Bart went and said, hey, he didn't sign this check. Make him sign it. I want his autograph. And the guy's like, hmm, he goes off and he figures out that Krusty's being uh, nefarious, catches him. And then he runs into Bart and he says, oh, hey, the kid, you know, we caught Krusty, whatever. And, and, and then he says, some might say you're a hero, kid, but not me. I love Krusty. <laughs> yep. There were a lot of good lines in this episode again. You know, some some episodes are yeah. hit or miss with the lines. Right. But this, one had a lot of but this guy like made a big deal about how hey we we caught Krusty you did a good thing and then he's and like then, oh but I don't believe that nah you, you just fixed it so Krusty's yep dead to the world mm -hmm. now he can't make a show anymore or whatever. <laughs> I heard about line number two. Um. So my line number two comes. Um, of course, Krusty's having a really bad episode, and he goes home thinking that all of his stuff is fine, and there's an auction happening, and, um, oh, all I brought was a dime. I didn't know there would be pornography. <laughs> that was Jasper. Jasper. <laughs> and Jasper is one of my favorites, so. He, he got outbid by somebody in Japan who. For 12 cents. <laughs> did 12 cents, and all he brought was a dime. Uh, you didn't get it. Boxes. Boxes and boxes. It's getting carted out. Yes. And, and it is like, I don't know how many Towers boxes. Of boxes. Dozen pound boxes. And, yes. And, it, and somebody wrote Japan on the uh -huh. side. <laughs> so I'm sure shipping was going to cost a ton, mm. but that bidder got it for 12 cents. Yeah. And poor Jasper only had a dime. Right. Went to an action with a dime. <laughs> What about you? All right, so when Krusty's talking to the IRS guys trying to figure out a way to salvage the situation, they tell him that they're going to garnish his salary, and he's like, garnish my salary? Uh. But <laughs> he's like, please, no joking. Anyway, the exchange is, well, we'll just take a percentage of your income, say 75% uh, for 40 years. And then Krusty's like, but I don't plan to live that long. And the guy's like, hmm. Better make it 90%. <laughs> I 
Ninety percent of his income for four years. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> poor Krusty. That's right. Again, topical. We're in tax okay. season right now. Tax season. Yeah. Um, All right. Yeah. So, takes us to our scene. What is your favorite scene? At the funeral. Yep. There's a funeral in this episode. I won't give the spoiler alerts. You know, to let you know who. We're who we already did. Okay, so at Krusty's funeral in this episode, um, and if you haven't watched it, go watch it because it's still a great episode and you'll find out why this is all happening. But of course, Troy McClure shows up and he has to introduce himself as, you know, Troy McClure from such other celebrity funerals, and including Andre the Giant and and. <laughs> Shemp from the Three Stooges, so, and he has some great lines with that, but that scene's just, it's a funny scene to me. Uh, and then he makes Bob Newhart come mm-hmm. up and... Poor Bob Newhart yeah. has to come he's up, a, and Bob Newhart's yeah. not actually there for Krusty's funeral, he's there for some other, he's early, he came way early for another funeral, and he's just milling around, and so mm-hmm. they put him to work, and his um, eulogy is not very polite or... Well, he he knowledgeable. He didn't. He wasn't inspired by uh-uh. Krusty because he began his career before Krusty. Yep. So he's like, I don't have nothing to say about a guy that actually is on my coattails. Yep. <laughs> but okay, um, well, blah, blah, blah. And he goes in this thing, but yep. <laughs> but it's like Troy McClure's like, oh, don't worry, I'll handle this. Bob Newhart, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Uh, that was fun. Yeah. What about you? What's your favorite scene? IRS Burger. <laughs> so, of course, you know, Krusty has to pay the IRS back, so they come and they're taking all his assets and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And one of the things they seize is his chain of Krusty Burgers, and they turn it into an IRS burger. And now, every time you go to order your burger, it's basically like you're doing your taxes. So there's Homer in there, and he's like the filling lettuce. out a form. He's like, yep. um, let's see, I'll take a tax burger, withhold the lettuce. Marge, what were your gambling losses last year? <laughs> $750, Homer. And that guy's like, like that, that pimple-faced kid's like, fill this worm out, you get your burgers in six to eight weeks. <laughs> Yep. So the, the, the jokes on the IRS yep. of this are classic. I love it. It's so great. IRS burger is great. Hans Molman <laughs> is sitting behind Homer, like, in the background of that scene, too. And mm-hmm. so it made me wonder, watching the episode, if he filled out his form <laughs> six to eight weeks ago and then went back to pick him up or what. <laughs> or if he just didn't order the IRS burger and ordered something else and they had it fresh. But Knowing Hans, he probably is just going to sit there sit for there six, to, for eight six weeks to eight for weeks it. for it. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> but that was the, you know, it was just a little sighting of funds yeah good stuff all right takes us to winners and losers how do you want to do that this week um let's go with your loser my loser are the tellers at the bank (laughs) because they all gotta wear ape masks and ape costumes and antlers (laughs) and houses for the housing mortgage now look i like costumes as much as the next guy and you know i'm a big planet of the apes fan and if you took me to a comic con and said hey you know wear this ape costume i'd probably be game but if i had to sit there and all day at a bank window wearing that thing it, it would get old fast so that doesn't look like a good job to me that's why i, I tagged him on that <laughs> well oddly that you mentioned that that's who i wrote down as well for my loser so we have the match on we that. have match losers yep. but it, it's it's very apropos I yep. think. Yeah. and i honestly can't think of another loser to throw in there right now other than mm-hmm. i mean i could say bob newhart but we talked about him already so right and jasper and we yep, talked jasper about him, so. and um yeah nope. uh you know, obviously crusty, but mm-hmm. oh, I'll throw the, I'll throw Bart in on it. So sure. I'm I'll go with Bart just as my little segue of mentioning that um, they all got a hundred dollars at the beginning of the episode <laughs> um, for spending the night in a haunted house. 
and um, this will segue nicely into my winter then too mm -hmm. for a second, but um, they got to spend the night in a haunted house and so I'm going with Bart because he got $100 and he wanted to go and buy 100 tacos for $100 <laughs> and he missed out on that opportunity and uh -huh. had to instead put it in a checking account at the bank. And did that lead, lead to a winner? Yes, so right. Ann Landers is my winner because <laughs> they, Homer's, Aunt Hortense mm -hmm. passes away at the beginning of the episode mm -hmm. and the lawyer tells them that they're going to receive her inheritance if they go and spend the night in this haunted house. And so they do and they have the best night's sleep that they ever have and even Maggie's stretching and you know mm -hmm. everybody looks refreshed and the lawyer hands them each a hundred dollars and um says the rest is going to Ann Landers and oh I must have been talking well after you left I do that all the time <laughs> so um Ann Landers inherits the rest of yeah. Aunt Hortense's millions yeah. so they got a good night's sleep and a hundred bucks out of it but mm -hmm. they didn't get the rest that's too bad nope. <laughs> <laughs> what who's your winner my winner is handsome Pete <laughs> so they go looking for uh, Rory B. Bellows, a.k.a. Krusty, and they talk to the sea captain, and they blow up this balloon of Krusty, saying, have you seen this guy? And sea captain's like, ah, yes, that's Handsome Pete. He dances for nickels. And there's a <laughs> Krusty-looking dude, the little dude that comes out with an accordion. Na -na 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 well, what I liked about it was they're like, no, not him. We're looking for this guy, Krusty. And as they're walking out, Bart flips a quarter, a quarter yeah. to Handsome Pete. Handsome Pete looks extremely happy to get this quarter, starts dancing away, and then the sea captain's like, oh man, now he's going to be dancing all day. He got a quarter. <laughs> and I'm thinking, well, if a quarter makes Handsome Pete so happy that he's going to dance all day, mm -hmm. then he lives in a in a space where just joy is easily come by. And so I don't he's know. your winner. I, he got my winner just because I thought that was that was cool. Yep. <laughs> Good plan. <laughs> so again, that was episode 15 of season 7, Bart the Fink. You can watch it on some streaming services of your choice, or if you happen to have it on DVD, watch away. Mm -hmm. um, give us a thumbs up if you like this episode. Be sure to subscribe and follow us so you can um, be aware of next episodes That's when we post. All right. We'll be coming back at you real soon. And until then, Jiminy Chillickers! Now that the feds are calling the shots, this show's got to be a lot more cost effective. So we had to cut down on the frills like sets, props, costumes, and sideshow mail. But that doesn't mean we can't have fun. For example... I sure wish somebody would give me a banana cream pie. Yeah. Uh, I guess we can't afford pies right now. Well, throw something. <laughs>